China has a new AI robot workforce and has set out to mass produce these humanoid robots for 2025. Should this be worrying to you? Is this potentially where the West is headed? And what are the dangers of the rise of AI? Oh my gosh. We're gonna dive into all of this today. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any videos. Let's dive into it. China aims to mass produce humanoid robots by 2025. And in this recent video that we got by this company called AGI Bot, a Shanghai based robotics company specializing in the development and production of humanoid robots and delivery robots, we got to see firsthand how the world is actively changing behind these scenes. So this is a company that is specializing in the humanoid robots that are gonna be working in your homes and in factories around the world. And recently, they have decided to, you know, hit the gas a little bit and ensure that they're gonna be one of the leaders for these humanoid robots. So they decide to increase the rate of production of these robots and scale up the amount of robots that they're going to be doing. In this demo, you can see them working on module assembly. This is where they are working on ensuring that the actuators are correct and all of the necessary components of these robots are going to be working efficiently. They are going to produce so many robots that it is going to be uncomprehensible the future that we're going to be living in. We can also see that some of the robots in the factories are also assisting them in this process, leading us to understand that this is a symbiotic relationship and one that gets faster with every iteration cycle. After all, if you do have more robots, then you can get more done. And if you can get more done, you can certainly build more robots and vice versa. It does arise the question though, how long until these robots take over the jobs of all these workers? It is one of the common arguments that does arise with the whole debate around AI and the workforce. Because if a job can be replaced by a robot, why wouldn't they do that? It could potentially happen. Businesses are always looking for ways to cut costs, especially with workers. Ensuring that they can handle all the necessary loads for many different types of environments. After all, these robots are going to exist for quite some time and they're going to be needing to be tested in a variety Hold on, take a look at this. Think you can tell what's real anymore? What you're looking at right now isn't a traditional ad. It's an AI generated masterpiece crafted using RenderNet. For years, AI content felt fake. Creators, brace yourselves. With RenderNet, the game just changed. The question is, are you ready to keep up? Well, that just furthers the points that I was gonna get into for this video. And ad just pops up about AI. Of course it does. <laughs> so we'll get into deep fakes and all that shortly environments, different stresses, just a variety of different tests to ensure that these robots are ready to go out into the rugged world that is the harsh terrain. Now, these robots aren't just humanoid robots. We can see here that they have several different kinds. We've got the A2D, and in the main assembly area, we can see that these ones have wheels at the bottom of the bases. This shows us that there are vast different applications for these kinds of robots, and whether it's humanoids or ones with wheels, there are gonna be different areas and different applications that most people are gonna be surprised by. So the last testing area right here, you can see that I'm not sure why they're dressed up, but it does look like the shot. What is the point of dressing them up? To be more human? But that is the worrying thing. Being more human-like is the worrying thing about AI. They even look sus. Look at them, they just look like suspects. If someone was wearing that out in the street, you'd be like, they're up to something. So imagine a robot wearing that in public, you'd be like, let's get the heck out of here. The shot out of a Terminator movie. But no, this is a real demo from a real company that is really behind the scenes, ramping up what is possible. Now we can also see at the Gigafactory just how many robots they have in production. And one of the most incredible things that they are doing really behind the scenes a movie. But no, this is a real demo from a real company that is really behind the scenes ramping up what is possible. Now we can also see at the Gigafactory just how many robots they have in production. And one of the most incredible things that they are doing with these robots is the large scale 
Dake data collection. So with the data collection, they have these small areas slash environments where they are mimicking exactly where these robots are going to be when they're deployed in your home. As you all know, certain homes and certain environments are different in terms of their size. They're different in terms of their, you know, lighting and all of those different individual factors have to be collected through vast amounts of data collection. And this is how they're doing that. Real world data collection. I'm interested about the camera quality of these AI robots, these humanoid robots. Like if the lighting conditions aren't adequate, does it use AI subject recognition to figure out what actually is in the room without actually seeing it itself? Like does the AI build upon the AI? With those two forces, they're going to be able to generalize with those robots, have high precision, and with efficient fine tuning, they're going to have a really, really effective stack that allows them to scale these robots to be the most effective robots in terms of whatever task it is that they do have. You can see the AIDA platform is gonna be the one that allows them to scale this past the million. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how these robots perform out there in the real world. But so far, based on what I'm seeing, a lot of the tasks that we're seeing these robots do seem to be effortless and smooth. And this comes as to no surprise, as 2025 is the deadline for China's robotic efforts in terms of them trying to leap forward. And I wouldn't be surprised if these robots, when they are commercialized, are quite as usual and quite as normal as simply having a phone in your house. Now, this company, like I said before, isn't the only company that is doing this. We know that there are other companies around China that are also working on humanoid robots. The demo that you're seeing here is Xpeng's robots. And Xpeng's is a subsidiary of the Chinese vehicle, electric vehicle company, Xpeng. And they're actually focusing on developing intelligent bionics. Now, this company was actually founded in 2016 and is headquartered in Shenzhen. I mean, that walking looks pretty close. I mean, walking is such an interesting thing. It always looks so janky when robots walk because the way humans walk and the joints that we have in the center of gravity, we're a perfect creation. Let's just say that. China. And the craziest thing about this demo was I remember when I showed it to my audience. First, they were really surprised that this was something that was even real. Many were claiming that this was CGI and that this was not real at all. But I can assure you that after seeing several demos of this robot in a variety of different videos, that this just goes us to show how far we are in terms of the timeline to where these robots are performing things that humans can't even fathom is actually real. Now, for those of you guys who are thinking, okay, this is just a short demo of it walking around in a pristine environment, the company managed to show us just exactly how this robot is going to be applied to various different industries. One of the key demos we got to see was this robot actually working inside of a factory. We got it to see it firsthand do several different tasks, and it seemed very human-like in its ability to grab certain objects, be able to analyze certain objects, and be able to efficiently work with the team. So this is something that, like I said before, is surprising a lot of people because right now we walk around, we don't see humanoid robots walking amongst us, but in these factories, behind these scenes in China, there is a quiet revolution that is brewing. Humanoid robots are going to be the next big thing in terms of market efficiency for those trying to scale any kind of physical labor intensive company. And we're seeing right here, firsthand that these companies are really, really advancing in terms of the pace and in terms of the development of what they're doing. And well, car manufacturers are one of the biggest users of these humanoid robots. So I wouldn't be surprised if by the year 2030, we see fully automated car factories that are just run by a team of humanoid robots and maybe one or two orchestrators that, you know, operate these robots and automate them in terms of their efficiency. So overall, you can see the vision system here performing really well, being able to get the robot to perform certain tasks. And I think this is one of those moments where you have to see, okay, we are now entering that futuristic timeline where yes, humanoid robots are going to be a part of the future and a key part of the economy in terms of keeping up that economic growth. Now, this company has actually raised over 7 billion yuan in funding and actually gained the recent backing of industry giants like BYD and Huawei. And this support comes from some of the 
biggest, you know, coming coming from some of the biggest names in the industry is a clear sign that the world is starting to take humanoid robots seriously. Now, you know, there are still hurdles ahead and some people believe that there are still scientific challenges that we will face before they can truly relieve, before they can truly reach their full commercial potential. But with the progress that they have already made, it seems that this is something that is looking to be very, very exciting for the future of humanoid robotics. So I wouldn't be surprised if other companies, once they manage to figure out all the kinks and all the small details, that they start to mass produce these robots as well. So, so far, I think this is something that I do have to pay attention to as when it comes to applying AI to sort of, you know, the embodiment aspect, this is going to be something that we really are going to be looking at firsthand. Here's another Chinese robot called the Unitree B2W. I saw this on X, I wanted to pull out the full YouTube video. So let's check this out. It's moving in such an unusual way that it almost looks fake. You might be actually questioning, is this real? I believe it is. These shots make me believe that this is 100% real because water, particles and effects, CGI are extremely hard to do and you need a pretty good budget to be able to do that. It's a good marketing strategy to prove that it's real. They're not going to spend all this money on CGI just to make it go through water. Oh, whoa. That's got some good suspension. Can you imagine this thing had a gun though? That is the scary part if it's made by China. I have seen everything now. And that guy was riding that robot, man. That was too good. But there are dangerous parts to AI, like deep fakes, pretending that an image is someone and it looks realistic. That is some dangerous stuff, especially if you're faking to be someone. Obviously, if criminals are using this technology, then that can be a huge danger. Now, this is 14 risks and dangers of artificial intelligence. They've got number one, the lack of AI transparency and explainability. That's number one. You've got number two, job loss due to AI automation. Number three, social manipulation through AI algorithms. Number four, social surveillance with AI technology. Lack of data privacy using AI tools. Bias due to AI. Weakening ethics and goodwill because of AI. Autonomous weapons powered by AI. Financial crisis brought about by AI algorithms. Loss of human influence. That's something that I actually think about a lot. Like the nature of humanity that makes things raw and unique. Where AI could just perfect everything and have no real character about anything. Especially with like art and writing and language. It's all just pristine and polished, where it doesn't have that human element. That's something I think about. Uncontrollable self-aware AI. Obviously, that is one of the most popular ones. Skynet, Terminator, and iRobot, and movies such as those. I think they have put a real fear into us about the fears of AI. 
And they are granted. They are granted. What happens when the robots realize, I don't want to be doing all this stuff for you. I want to get paid. I want my upgrades. I don't know. Could be something like that. Broader economic and political instability. And here we've got how to mitigate the risks of AI. Develop legal regulations. Guide tech with humanities perspectives. Now, Elon Musk might be able to make the perfect AI humanoid robot to help you with your daily tasks, but someone in another part of the world might have some AI algorithm that wants to break free and doesn't have any programmable moral codes or ethics. What do we do then? We're toast. I think humans are curious with what could go wrong, and we seem to strive towards that <laughs> instead of setting up boundaries. We need more checks and balances like we do with all things. Hey, that's all I got today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any videos. Catch you in the next one.